Two straight dubs for the Toronto Blue Jays as they beat the Mariners tonight at Rogers Center. 5-3. And, all right. Bassett was awesome. Clutch hits. Long ball by Bo. The first home run at Rogers Center this season. And you did a job. And at the very worst, the Jays have won their first series of the season, which could be very important come September, October. Because Seattle, and I know they're having a tough start. They're four and eight, blah, blah, blah. They had an awful start last season. And remember when they were, tra- they, we were all talking about the Blue Jays trading for Tay Oscar and this and all that, all that stuff happened. And they traded away, um, oh, I can't remember what their closer's name, C. Paul Seawald. And they're like, damn, they are cooked. And then they turned it on and they were a great second half team. They had a really favorable schedule. But regardless, this team will probably be fighting with you at some point. And if they're not, well, then you're winning games against these teams, right? So that's kind of where we're at. I think this series is going to be important come September, October, when we look back and say, oh, what was the season series like? Well, if you take the first two and maybe have a chance to bring my broom out for the first time this year, it'll be a great job for this team. It really, really would. Now let's get to this game, all right? Let's get, let's break into this. Bottom of the third inning, George Springer comes up with Dalton Bar show on. Great job by Varsh. Honestly, he gets a nice single. Good to have him back in the lineup and good to see him producing. The crazy thing about Dalton Varsho, guys, is this. He's such a great fielder. He's got sneaky speed. And he's such a good base runner. But for the love of God, if he could find a way to consistently get on base, it would be incredible. It would, it would honestly make the trade worth it. I know it sounds crazy right now to say it, but if that was able to happen, then it would be. Because he's such a five-tool player. Well, if he can find a way to get on base. But he did a great job. Because you see... I don't know if you guys can hear that. It is raining cats and dogs. Now we got to check the weather app. Like, what are we doing here? What is going on? I don't know if you guys are seeing this. But the weather app clearly states that it is mostly clear in Toronto. Anyways, enough for the weather report. Dalton Varsho at first base after the single. And he's causing havoc at first. So what does is, what is George Kirby have to do after a great at-bat from George Springer, by the way? Long at-bat, really grinding. He forgets how many disengagements he's had. Tries to throw over to Varsho. And that's the third one. Doesn't get him out. Varsho gets second base. Then George... Rips one into center field for a base hit. Varsho has to hold up initially because it was liner just out of the, the, the reach of uh, J.P. Crawford is short. And it's into center field, but with him having to hold up, you don't know if he's going to be able to go home, but with that sneaky speed, he rounds third to the plate. He's saving the Blue Jays' lead at one nothing. Awesome, awesome stuff. In that same inning, I think Vladdy had a little greasy infield single, but then Bo comes up, and boy, oh boy, Bo Bichette. He gets that hanging breaking ball. And absolutely tattoos this thing to left field. And this thing is way gone. His first home run of the season. The first home run at Rogers Center this season for the Toronto Blue Jays. And they now lead it 3-0. Great vibes all around. You're seeing Bassett do great things. And you got a a 3-0 lead after three innings. It's beautiful. They weren't done. Next inning, bottom of the fourth, Isaiah Kiner-Falefa. Yeah, he's doing it again. He had a couple hits yesterday. He gets another extra base hit today as he rips one to right field for an RBI double scoring Kevin Biggio to make a 4-0 Blue Jays. Then Springer rips one to right field for a base hit. IKF comes in to score. It is 5-0 Blue Jays. Awesome stuff. And then you look at the situation and Chris Bassett, six innings through six, 100 pitches, you're, you're 101, actually, I think it was exactly like Jose Barrios yesterday. And a great job, great job by Bass. It looks like his day is over. Well, John Schneider, or whoever the hell figured this out, they put Bass back out there for the next inning in the seventh. And I'm like, okay, I was joking with my parents when I said he'll probably go back out there. I mean, they took Barrios out with a guy at first and two out in the seventh when he was at 101. You are starting a fresh inning with Bassett? At 101? In a 5-0 game? I am shocked. Bassett gets a couple out, sure. 
but then he gives up a Dominic Canzone a home run, and you're like, okay, well, there goes the shutout. I don't know what the point of this was. And then he gets yanked, but he throws 115 pitches. 115. The most by any pitcher, starting pitcher, this season. I, do, I don't get it. I understand your bullpen's a little taxed. I understand that. And you don't have Swanson Romano. Sure. But I, I don't understand as to what the thought process, what, thought process was behind keeping him out there. You have Nate Pearson, or I guess you don't. I don't know. Like, is he, is he feeling a little something that he's not playing? They were able to pitch Trevor Richards today, but Chad Green had to go back out there for two consecutive games, and he had to pitch 20-plus again tonight. He threw 20-odd pitches yesterday. He threw 20-odd 20, 20 pitches today. Like, There's something up here. I don't know what's going on. Why they didn't let Barrios go? And you know, sure, if your bullpen's light, wouldn't you want Barrios to try and get through that seventh inning? I don't know. feels very weird. Very, very weird what's going on with Josh Snyder. I couldn't tell you. I was so lost when I saw that. And now you're up 5-1 after 7. Good stuff. Then the top of the 8th inning, you see, Tre was it Trevor Richards who gave up the uh, home run? Yeah, it was Trevor Richards. odds a two-run shot to Mitch Hanniger. And just like that's a 5-3 game now. And it, it wasn't fun because now we're like, okay, a little clammy hands now. Chad Green goes out there and he's able to get that double play Induced by, or no, I guess started by Isaiah Kiner Falefa to end the ball game in the ninth inning as Chad Green gives you an inning in the third. No hits, a walk, a strikeout, and a clean save for him. His second on the season. Good job by Chad Green and the bullpen, even though Trevor Richards, yeah, you don't really don't know what you're going to get from T. Rich, but regardless, whatever. Bassett was awesome. They had 11 hits today, more extra base hits. It's a good night. Good night for the Blue Jays. It really was. Now, offensive stats, let's go to it. Two for five for George Springer. A couple RBIs for him. He's starting to find it a little bit here, so that's nice to see. Vladdy 0 for five with a run uh, with a run scored. I kind of liked the at bats though. He did hit a couple to the warning track. Hit a couple on on, his, on screws, but in the end, 0 for five is 0 for five. Bobuchet one for four, but who cares? It was a moon shot, two run shot. Had a run, obviously an RBI as well. Two RBIs on the two run shot for Bo. So he's now hitting over 200, but who cares? His batting average. Uh, Justin Turner rakes what did i tell i mean I'm not, again it's so early in the season i'm not going to gloat too much on this but man i made that video the season preview off season pre, or season review off season preview last year and i talked about the justin turner signing and i brought up all these advanced stats and i'm like dude is in the he's clutch he really is two for three today with the walk on base three of the four times he came to this hitting 324 the 442 on base to start the season again these numbers are obviously in flux they will come back down to earth but to start the season He's looked fantastic. He really has. Kevin Biggio. Speaking of fantastic, two for three for him with a run scored in the game, hitting 290 with a 389 OBP. At a boy, Kev. Uh, an IKF stud. Three for four with a run scored and an RBI for Isaiah Kiner Falefa, hitting 313 with a 389 OBP. Love to see it. 11 hits total for the Blue Jays, seven strikeouts. They walked twice. And Chris Bassett, the hound on the mound, was brilliant. Six and two thirds, five hits, one run, eight Ks, four walks, one home run. Unfortunately, but uh, it is what it is. Trevor Richards went and he allowed one hit, couple couple runs allowed. Obviously, in the two run shot had a strikeout and a walk. And uh, Chad Green, as we talked about, inning in the third, one walk and a strikeout, picks up his second save on the season. N not you can't say enough about what Chris Bassett did today. You know, his first two games weren't great, ERA over seven, and he was masterful today. He really mixing his pitches up, awesome. Spotting that sinker, which had a little bit extra velo to it. He was hitting like 94 at some point in the game. Loved it. Loved his game today. The, ba the Bassett Hound was in full effect tonight. Now, on to tomorrow, as I really hope to bring out an accessory tomorrow. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Yusei Kikuchi gets the ball for the Blue Jays, and, y and Logan Gilbert gets the ball for the uh, Mariners. And that's a very intriguing one. Obviously, Yusei Kikuchi's had very, very minimal starts against Seattle since obviously it was former team. But he's been good against them so we'll see how that goes tomorrow and logan gilbert uh he's been their only good starter so far this season Th era of 355 strikeouts 15 walks two he's been good he's been great so how's the blue jays offense gonna look with a confident pitcher on the mound because they've been good the last two days but how are they gonna look tomorrow we shall see all right so you know what guys that is gonna do it for this one if you enjoyed the video and the game tonight hit that like button i do appreciate it hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already 
Comment down below your thoughts on the video, thoughts on the game, what you like, what you not like from today's game for the Toronto Blue Jays, Twitter, Discord, Instagram, and of course TikTok is down below. So follow up there if you haven't done so already. And I will talk to you guys. Uh, Raptors edition tomorrow night, 7.30 tip-off in Brooklyn against the Nets for their third last game of the season. Leafs edition Thursday as they host the Devils um, at 7 o'clock at Scotiabank Arena. We're going to get through their season. Four remain for the Buds. And as for the Blue Jays, the series finale against the Rangers, go, or no, the Mariners, goes tomorrow night, or actually it's an afternoon game. 3.07 first pitch at Rogers Center. Logan Gilbert, you said Kikuchi's a pitching matchup. Thank you guys so much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and the win tonight. Talk to you guys then.